to another episode of Times Square Kung Fu. I am your host, Frankie Balboa, a.k.a. The Shogun Supreme. Now, Peter couldn't be in for this video because, you know, he's always on vacation. And it was a vacation that my homeboy needed. But he'll be back, man. We got an awesome episode coming up. Now, before I get into this episode, I'd like to give a massive shout out to MVD Entertainment Group for providing us a review copy of The Last Blood, which comes out October 11th. And of course, this film goes by Harboil too. Good looking out, UK cats, man, because they saw a hospital scene. They're like, yo, this is Harboil too. Let's call it a day. And yeah, there's a crazy hospital scene in this film. And my and one of the villains looks like an evil Jet Li, but I'll get into that later. Now, the the last blood stars, you know, Alan Tam that plays Lou Tai, a cop. Um, Andy Lau, the immortal Andy Lau that plays B. Eric Sand that plays Fatty, um, Lord Carl Young that plays Stone, another another one of the cops, and of course you got May Lo, and you got action choreography by Blackie Cole, who is known to you know done a bunch of extra work in Hong Kong films, and was part of the action direction crew of A Better Tomorrow. And you can see some of that, you know, influence being involved with that project in this film because this film is gunplay heavy and it has a typical Hong Kong moment of F them kids. Yeah, man. So what is this plot about? It's about a Japanese terror group, a Japanese terrorist group um, led by um, Ching Ho, who plays Kawakuda. He looks like an evil jelly. I'm telling you guys, he does. And they're out to assassinate this monk. And when doing one of the assassination attempts in the airport, they injure a whole bunch of people and everything, but they don't get to kill um, the monk. And one of these injuries happens to be Andy Lau's um, girlfriend in the film, played by Mei Lo. And coincidentally, they both have the same blood type, which is so rare, only three people in Hong Kong, I mean, in Singapore have it. So they go out and to protect these individuals from this Japanese terrorist group. Now, Eric San is more of the comedy relief in this film, and Andy Lau, you know, jumps in here and there, and it's kind of a, some dark humor, but it's very well, and it doesn't last too long in the film. And as I said, the action is no joke. It gets a little repetitive at times, but hey, nothing good with repeating some good stuff, bro. You know what I mean? Because you get some explosions, some crazy gunplay, and some great imitation from Andy Lau doing his best Bruce Lee, you know, <laughs> impersonation. So it's definitely something you guys are going to enjoy. It is definitely well paced, especially with the comedy included in this film. Now, as far as extras, pretty much thin, but hey, it makes up for it with a Frank Dench commentary. I mean, you got a photo still gallery, some trailers, and oh, remind you guys, this is a Region A and Region B release. Now, A Films, as always, they do the best that they can with these releases. And they always go out of the way for the fans to make sure we get the best quality in these classic films for preservation, for preservation sake and also for a new generation to join. So the audio in this release is fantastic. I didn't hear anything muffled, anything out of ordinary, and it just sounds pretty good. Now, for my comparison, I'm going to be using the Megastar DVD. And I'm going to compare it with this release. I'm not going to compare it with the HD stream broadcast because that one looks terrible. And by the way, let's give a shout out to Sean Longmore. He'll be doing some fantastic work for 88 Films for a hot minute. So this is the 11 by 17, a two size poster included in this release. There is no booklet, but hey, man, we get some dope commentary tracks. So let's get into this comparison, yo.
Yeah. So, now that you guys saw those pictures, like I always say, when it comes to color grading, is a preference thing. But for me, I prefer the majority of the shots in the DVD. But the last half of the Blu-ray, like those nice shots where you see the evil Jet Li dude and Andy Lau punching Brody in the gut, I prefer the Blu-ray with that. And I wish it was a combination of both. But overall, it looks good. And on top of that, this is an old master. So 88 did the best what they can, but they did a fantastic job on an overall package level and, you know, encoding as well. Now, with that said, I look forward to you guys picking this up. It comes out October 11th. And massive props to the fantastic folks over at MVD Group Entertainment for providing me a Vivo copy for this release. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.